Hello everybody, my name is Ratnos, and today I wanted to make a quick video about some of the features on Raider.io that uh, people don't know about or that are new that I think are pretty cool. Um, so, first off is the Boss Progress widget, uh, which I was using this during progression. Uh, it's a pretty cool little, little thing. Let me show you what it looks like when it's on, right? It just pops up. Uh, you can move it around, of course, to wherever you want on your, on your OBS or whatever you stream with, uh, and it will show you which boss you're on, uh, how many pulls you've got on it, what percent it's at, everything like that. Uh, and so you go through and you just put your, you know, you can put your guild name in here. It's mine. Uh, and track difficulty, you can set it to either look at a certain boss or just whichever one you most recently were doing uh, up to the first kill uh, at, or current week, right? You could, you could make it during farm work for you as well uh, and make it show whatever info you want. Uh, and then you just copy this URL and you make a browser source in your OBS and put that URL in as the URL of the browser source and this thing will pop up and you can further customize it and you'll just get a new URL, right? All of, all of this information's uh, saved in the URL, so uh, pretty easy to, to adjust and do whatever you want with. So if you're a streamer out there, you're streaming any progression, that sort of thing I think might be useful for you. Um, cool little way to, <laughs> you know, if you don't, don't want to have to keep updating an exclamation point best or, or anything like that. It uh, can be pretty cool. There are some other little widgets here that you might like as a streamer as well. Uh, on that front, I don't use any of these other ones, but they are pretty cool, which are um, character widgets. So you can get one that shows your character's name and talents and stuff. I use a week or for this, but uh, you could do one on your OBS as well. Uh, raid events widget, which will pop up when something cool happens in the raid, which again, you can configure stuff like that, uh, particularly if you're somebody who likes to kind of follow along with the race to world first and get that info on your stream, that can be cool. Uh, and then a boss health progression widget, which uh, so this this is a little graph thing that you can make, but actually the coolest way I've found to look at this is actually just on a guild's page. I think a lot of people don't necessarily know about this. So uh, say for instance, you wanted to look at my guild's painsmith prog. Uh, you actually just click through, yeah, you go to the guild's page, scroll down, sanctum, right? You just go painsmith for instance, uh, and click on encounter graphs, and it will show you our progression on the boss over time uh, in a nice, easy to see way. So you can see this is our best pull and the dashed line is like each pull. You can see as we alternate between a good pull and wiping in the first iteration and uh, and so on and so forth. So a uh, very, common, very common pattern for a lot of bosses. Um, yeah, pretty cool little way to, to see how that's going. And you can see this for any guild. If you're, if you're out there and you're like looking at guilds and you wanna you want to consider, you know, you want to find out what a guild's progression was like. Uh, you can actually do this just again by clicking through and going onto their encounter graphs. Um, you could do it by time as well. Uh, or, yeah, I guess just by pull count and time are the best ones. Um, so pretty cool little feature there. Nice way as well to, you can get, you can use this for the Race to World First as well. If, you, if you're interested in how the Race to World First, you know, went, right? You want to look at like Sylvanas, Echoes Sylvanas. Uh, encounter graph, right? Uh, you can see exactly what that looks like as well. So again, there's that that trademark bouncing up and down uh, before eventually killing the boss. But yeah, there it is, and there <laughs> there is that forty nine point six percent, right? Uh, before the you know extremely long amount of reprogression of trying to figure out how you can squeeze more damage out, and then oh oh we're gonna kill the boss, right? Uh, very cool, cool little thing to look through. Um, even do this for some older bosses and relive some memories of what progression was like on certain bosses. Um, cool. Anyways, hope you like this video. Uh, again, raider.io slash widget. Widgets is where you want to go to get those widgets. Uh, and you can uh, get this, you can get the graph URL to go onto your stream as well if, you, if you're interested in displaying something like your progression graph on stream. Uh, something like that. Or if you, you know, this is the kind of thing where if, if I was using this, it would be less that I was... I had this on all the time and more that I would like tick a, click a button or hit a hotkey to actually make this pop up when I wanted to talk about it and then dismiss it again uh, as wanted. Anyways, hope you liked the video. Uh, check out these features. I'll put a link in the description below as well. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.